Good evening. More fallout tonight after accusations of racism at Virginia Military Institute. Today, the school superintendent resigned after more than 17 years at VMI. 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw joins us live tonight in the newsroom to explain why he says he stepped down. General J.H. Binford P. the third sent a letter to the president of the VMI Board of Visitors saying that he learned on Friday that Governor Ralph Northam and other state leaders lost confidence in P's leadership and because of that effective today he was stepping down. General P served as superintendent at VMI since 2003. Last week the governor and other state officials ordered an outside investigation into VMI after a Washington Post report detailed allegations of racism against black cadets. Today, in response to General P's resignation, John Bolin, the president of the Board of Visitors, said it was accepted with deep regret and that General P is a great American, patriot, and hero. He has profoundly changed our school for the better in all respects. A message from Governor Northam's press secretary said the governor also wishes General P. well and added change is overdue at VMI and the Board of Visitors bears a deep responsibility to embrace it. Diversity is a fundamental commitment. Brigadier General Robert Moreshi, a 16-year veteran of the VMI faculty, will now serve as VMI's acting superintendent as the Board of Visitors now searches for a new superintendent for VMI. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you.